everybody, what's going on? Joe for the Joe Wins Project TV. I'm joined today Ralph with the German Butcher. German Butcher, man. It's a perfect day, man. Today is ironically yeah, it's a perfect day. <laughs> ironically my birthday, and uh, boy, we got a story to tell you. We just got here. We're at my house, and um, so we went to Guitar Center. You got another one? I'm going to do this Kramer this time. Kramer Pacer here. I don't hate that color. I don't think it's bad. I is, like that the only, is that the only one in that, that style guitar in that color? Add this another color? Okay. Fun as usual. Had Fun. a good time. Yeah. And we're just we're just playing guitars, just hanging out, just doing that. Joe spent his days tuning all the guitars there. <laughs> yeah. Every... I hear him. Sparkly and he man. found another. Holy crap. Look at that sparkle. Welcome to the Love Shack. Everyone yeah, you, up was so out of tune. Holy crap. You know how it is when you go to Guitar Center. Wow. Not, nothing's in tune, nothing's set up, none of that stuff. Joe tuned about five of them. Yeah. Play, played somewhat. There was a couple of that Ibanez was nice. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Oh, the, the sparkling one? No, well, the, it was a green sparkle. It was nice. It, 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 it popped a little bit. It was, the color I mean, was really like loud. Yeah, it reminded me of something Satchel from Steel Panther we played okay. is what it reminded me of. Buy that. Uh, but it was nice. I, but I think it was, what, $4.99? It was 4 Something like that. It was nice. That was the only one I played besides uh, Jack. We both got new Jackson guitars, too, and, and uh, those played really good, too. But all the other ones were kind of, eh. Yeah. So... Here's the big, I don't know if y'all run into this issue. <laughs> if you want to call it an issue. If you want to call it an issue. If you buy a guitar, a guitar center that has a, that's supposed to have, fly, land on my phone, has come with a whammy bar, you know, they always take them off because people would steal them. Oh, right? yeah. Okay. So, if you, uh. Somebody's stealing them from out back, too, apparently. Apparently, find we're them. trying to check out at the register, and, uh. The guy says, oh, we don't have a bar. You have to buy one. And I said, why do I have to buy? It's supposed to come with a whammy We're bar. spending this much money on a guitar. We got to yeah. buy, buy now, a bar, too. Big shout out to Joni at Guitar Center, man. She, she hooked, she hooked nice. us up. She was super sweet. She went through the trouble of... Uh, she Opening other guitars. Other guitar boxes. She even gave me a... They only had one Floyd Rose bar that would... For this type of tremolo system. Which just blows my mind. Yeah. And um, so... Let she let us have it. She said, I'll pay for it. And y'all, you know, just, I don't have another one. She goes, get in touch with me later sometime, a couple of weeks, and I'll see if I can get you another. It's no big deal, but big thumbs up to Joni. She re really helped us out a lot. Nice. The other people, eh, they kind of seem off the rocker a I little bit. They like they were getting aggravated Yeah, with us. act like they was getting mad. And we're, I'm like, dude, we're trying to give you some business, you know. Ralph, I'll let you take it from here. Okay. We, we are literally trying to pull out of the parking lot. And this little Jeep Liberty or some kind of vehicle like that pulls up and a guy sticks his head out the window and says, are you guys interested in some uh, amplifiers? Because I remember he said amplifiers. That's all he said. Yeah. I said, no, we're good on amplifiers. And Joe said the same thing. You know, we, we figured this guy's trying to sell us some crap. He said, well, it's, you know, it won't cost you nothing. It's free. Well, free. There's the magic word. That'll get me out of the truck. <laughs> so I got out of the truck and he opened up his trunk and it was slammed full of, of PA system uh big uh amps amps small amps guitars uh, yeah guitars well we commenced loading up the truck <laughs> he said do y'all want uh what do you say y'all want some free amps y'all want some free amps and i was like no nah, i'm good man because i thought i was like something and ralph's like hell yeah we'll take it and i was like dude what are you doing <laughs> so we start well they start loading up the truck and this is what we got right here. We, uh, yeah, we haven't really dove into it ourselves. Yeah, we yet. haven't really dug into it much. This we is literally a, just pulled up. This is a piece of crap Dean guitar. It's a, but, yeah, it's a piece of crap, but, but hey, you know. It'll be a wall hanger at my house. You can fix it. Now, here's the here's the thing, man. He gives, he says, y'all want this 
PV amp. It's half stack. Now look at this. And it's got a, you can't see it, but it's look got how a. clean that is. And it's still got this on top like you'd see it. At, at exactly. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Now, I want yeah. you to take the cover off, man. This has an EVH cover. I think it's just a PV cabinet. He gave us this too. Right? Who's going to turn it down, right? God mighty son. Look at that. <clears throat> That's incredible. Turn that yeah, amp head around. And that obviously does go with it. It says, yeah, this is a V. Oh, it's a hundred watt VK valve king. Does that have tubes in it? What kind of yeah, oh, yeah, it's got tubes. See them right in there? Okay, you can see them right front. Yeah, damn. So, look now, what do y'all think of this? Now, that's just one of the things we got. Yeah, but and this is a, this alone, this alone is, is amazing to me with a cover. Yeah, the cover is probably running now, about it. That's the EVH cover, by the way. We couldn't see it. Yeah, it you, the there it is. Look, see. That runs you a hundred dollars probably by itself. And he gave us this PA head. And the two PA speakers. And the little speakers that went with it. And look at these little mic micro Marshall amps. They're still in the old original, original box. box. So I can pull one out. I mean that's not in bad shape at all. Joe, it's still got the documentation in the box. Wow. So we're like, why is this guy getting rid of all this stuff? But if this works, Ralph just got him a half stack for nothing. Four little Marshall amps. <clears throat> so, you know, if one of them, this one up front looks, these, these two don't look too bad. I don't know what about that one. I don't know. Like I so said, I'll assess all that, whatever. But that's, this right here is the is the the money shot, as they say. I mean, that that's some money right there, boy. Why would this guy, I mean, it's, why would he just say, hey, y'all want some, not even dust, want some free amps? So I'm my. I've never seen a PV with the wings on the side. I've never seen that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, my theory is, now I don't know. The theory is, did this guy have an argument with somebody, and he just took their stuff like, and said he got kicked? He was a roommate. He got kicked out. Maybe, maybe and he took all the stuff. He took all just, the other guys. It just stuff. happened so fast. He was uh, he, he was helping me load it up. Thirty seconds. Like he, he was, was gone. Ready to get out of he there. was gone, man. So all this equipment. <laughs> So we're going to take this in and we're going to plug it up and uh, if it works and ain't no tubes messed up in it, Ralph's got him a half stack. I've already got one. It says something about if you haven't turned this amp around, you've only heard half the story. Oh, there's your tubes, buddy. Right there. Woo. That's going to sound good. The only thing you need is a, only, only thing you need is a, I got one of, I got one of those. It's I got like, several. I got think two of them. I got, uh, it's what you put like in a printer. Yeah. I got one in there. Here's your ohms, your impedance, texture. I don't know what that is. If that's, I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But we're gonna haul the stuff inside, and we'll be right back. All right, part two. So we got everything unloaded. Check stuff out. Check stuff out, out. Loaded in my car. We brought the big half stack into the house. It, of course, it didn't come with plugs or anything. So Joe had to take a few minutes and find everything. We needed a power supply. We needed a uh, really beefy cable from the from Speaker. the cabinet to the uh, head, Speaker. which Joe took off of his, just so we could work uh, see if it worked. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it turns on. <laughs> it turns on the uh the uh the cabinet works the cabinet works yeah. we, we, yes the cabinet works the head is going to need some work yeah the uh the the uh, power light comes on the front of the head and then when you uh you know because tubes are supposed to glow yeah they, know, there's no glow at and, and all it's not glowing so he's he's got a transformer that's bad or which is yeah. worth getting fixed and oh, i will get it fixed yeah absolutely i mean this this uh <laughs> Like I said, even if it if it cost him a couple hundred bucks, dude, it's worth yeah, it. It's you know? absolutely and worth it. And if it's beyond, you know, uh, you know, if it's real, well, if it's gonna be a lot of money, you can still get a new head. Buy a new head. You can I, get a I, new the head cabinet for, works. We know that. We, we Joe proved that in there. We uh, yeah, I plugged up my uh, katana head and went uh, out of that into your cabinet, and yeah. uh, it worked. It that, works. All the yeah, speakers the worked. Works. So. There's just something wrong with it. It's head. been taken care of, but I don't know if somebody has paid it attention, any attention for a while. If it's a tube or a fuse or a ballast that runs the I don't fuse, know. If, I, who knows? 
I don't know either, but it's it makes me think that amp hasn't been played in a while or it, something got uh, messed up on the route. Or maybe here. the way them dudes threw it in their car. <laughs> you know been, what I'm saying? Because the whole been. thing was sketchy. The whole thing was sketchy. It, y'all, it was crazy. I mean, it, I swear, I thought, I was like, I was looking around. I was like, is the this whole a, way home. Is this, is this a setup, man? <laughs> Joe was talking about the cops. Is anybody following us? <laughs> he was. <laughs> It was stressing me out. <laughs> oh, man. Is somebody following us? Is this stuff hot? Is there a tractor on this yeah. stuff? Is there going to be a cop in the driveway? I'm like, holy crap. And I thought we was going to be, you know, spread them. No, but I really think, I think, it, I, think it was, I think it was somebody uh, getting rid of somebody else's stuff. That's what I really think. Well, uh, as far back here as Joe lives in the woods. <laughs> he's going to find it. And then it's going to make its way to my house at... You know, which is it's changed in the opposite hands, direction yeah. in the woods. They're they're never getting it back. It's changed too many hands. It is what it is. Now we're just we're just uh, assuming. We don't know. It just could have been on the up and up, which doesn't make any bit, sense to me. But what what are the odds you go to Guitar Center and you're looking around, you're looking at gear, and you walk out to your vehicle and there's a guy? Oh, well, that well tell them out. about the part when we were in there waiting on our whammy bars. The two dudes that gave us this equipment were in the guitar store. Yes, yeah, they we were uh, at the checkout at the register, and um, I saw the two gentlemen walk in, and they had gentlemen. two. They had what two or three guitar cases? At least like two. I'm, I saw two. And uh, you know how you just kind of you see what's going on, but you kind of in and out. You know, yeah. you're not that's really what I. how I was. I thought yeah. they were picking up guitars, like they had them fixed. Yeah. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah, I I saw them when they brought them in, and I said they're yeah, they were trying to they were trying to sell them to Guitar Center, and they were. I looked at the uh, one looked the like name. a red Gretsch to me. It looked it was like a that, it was like a Gibson three thirty five style, was and uh, it was a excuse me. And I looked, and I said, oh, three thirty five, and I looked at the headstock, and it said Jay Terser. So it's a that's okay. a that's a low Lower budget end. model. Yeah, I mean it looked good, but uh, you know the name says it also. And to make a long story short. Guitar Center, the, they told those guys, look, we, we can't give you nothing for that. Y'all need to, you know. So at this time, we had checked out, and we, he paid for his stuff. I paid for mine. We left, and uh, we're walking to the truck, like I said, and then that's when they pulled up, and we've already touched on that before. But it's what are the odds of that stuff? It's just happening? insane. I mean, it was like an adrenaline rush. It's like you buy a guitar, get a, get a free half stack, you yeah. know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Come on down and get some free equipment. The deal was unbelievable. The Go to the guitar line. center now and see if that happens to you. Man, that ain't never happened. Nothing like that's happened. Anyway, let's show them what you got. We actually bought the same guitar, so. Same Jackson. The same thing. It's really nice. Beautiful guitar. This green. This green just pops. This emerald green. Oh, what man. did you call it, Joe? You, I call it Godzilla Green. Godzilla Green. Is what I call Incredible it. Hulk Green. Godzilla Green. <laughs> I don't know. I just emerald from uh, the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> call it what you want. But that son of a bitch is badass. It's beautiful. Man. Look how pretty that is. I, I, God damn. And I, we've got. I've, I've uh, shot a video. Joe. Joe played it. It's amazing. And I know it's a Jackson. Mm -hmm. And I know what I get with Jacksons. Um, yeah, good quality. Ninety percent of my guitars yeah. are Jacksons. Yeah, hey, that yeah. color is amazing. It's got a Look at that camera, man. That's beautiful. It's a. I loved it so much. I said I got to get me one, yeah. man. And uh, they they need a little. They need to be set up a little. Yeah, maybe. I mean that you're to be expected. Like I said, Joe spent his day tuning guitars at Guitar Center, <laughs> yeah. so these are no different. But uh, but yeah. It, it, for what it is before it's even set up, it plays really good, <laughs> yeah, man. I know. I was like, it's amazing. Wow. And which, yeah. of course, the, there was still plastic on the pickups oh, yeah. and stuff like that. You, I mean, they literally if you're not, haven't been played. Right, right. That's right. It, 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 for anybody watching, if you're not really aware about Guitar Center, uh, when they get new merchandise in, they just take it right out of the box and, and they it put up. it on the hanger. And hang they it up. They don't really. It's a, yeah. So, like you, you said. You played one. There was four of these. You played one and broke a string. And hung it up. I noticed that the one behind it had a broke string had, as well. It had a broke D string. The one I played it had the broke high E string. And I, that's the one I actually bought because I played it and mm -hmm. it felt really good. To break that's a low D string, that's the thing. Yeah, that's... How, a, how do you even do that? I don't know. That's a thicker string. But anyway, they don't set them up. And so, like you said, I played five of them. Yes. Every guitar was way out of tune. Oh, my God. It was, the it, footage, uh, there was so much. I tried, I held the camera and I was filming. I was like... 
this is going to get better. It's going to get better. But it wasn't Joe's fault. <laughs> no, I mean, in his defense, it's not his fault. <laughs> but it just spent, you know, we spent half a day tuning guitars. But that, that tells you, it, it just kind of. You would think that they would. Uh, people that are playing in. guitar would say, wow, this thing sounds horrible. At least tune it. At least tune You it. would think the employees would say, hey, let's take a few of these. That we're not busy. Let's tune them up. Let's set them up. Put them out there. But for whatever reason, they don't do that. And even forget the setup. Just tune it. Yeah. Tune it close. Yeah. Yeah, you picked up some that and, was so and, far off. I was like, "Oh my god, this is going to be a twenty-minute video." Him and uh, to tune it by the, ear. the only negative thing I have to say about our adventure is that Guitar Center, you got to get on top of the whammy bar thing, man. It, it's not just you, Joe. I've, uh, every time I bought one there too, the whammy bar, they have to go open another box and give you the little bag with the Allen wrenches, the whammy bar, goodie bag. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, little goodie bag. Yeah, yeah. But when they hang them on the hangers. They obviously come with that goodie bag. There, you should have a huge backstock of goodie bags. They, they. Uh, I'm not saying nothing bad. I'm just speaking as a as a customer. You're being honest. But you were with me. <coughs> Excuse me. You were with me. The guy comes up. We had one guy helping us at first. I ain't gonna say his name. But he just kind of oh. he, he just kind of act like I want to say he, his name. He, but he, I'm not. he just didn't really want to do his job. He was more interested oh, in doing something got, else. He got so flustered. He had this the lady Joni come help yeah. us. He called her over there, in which again she helped us. But he brought a whammy bar in a like a in a pack for purchase. He like was, they have hanging out there. Yeah, on the he pegs. said uh, he yeah. said we got them, but you got to buy them. I said, see what I got to buy it for? It's supposed to come with it. Well, we just I can't find them. And I got a, I got some here at home, but I don't. They don't. I mean, need as to know much that. money as we spent there. Oh man. To not give us a what? How much does a whammy bar cost? Seven bucks? Eight bucks? I don't uh, even know. Probably about. Probably about eight, eight to ten bucks. You can't give us, I, I guess, because you know how it was back in the day, Joe. You got a guitar strap, you get a case, you get strings, extra strings. You get something. You get the whammy bar. You get, you know, you get something. I mean, nowadays you, you get a guitar. You don't even get a whammy bar. Not at this guitar center. You don't. No. So, which is kind of disheartening, but but the know. end of the story is the half stack. The the cabinet works. The, the head, head does not. Yeah. But. It will be fixed. Yeah, it's getting power. It's oh, just, it be, it's just yeah. a transistor or a transformer or what. I'm not an amp person, but it's got to be something simple. I'd have it. I go ahead and have it retubed as right. well, just to, to get it all done at once. And plus, the I got a PA system, which I'm not. We of course no cables. I have plenty of cables at the house. I will test that PA system. Out. Yeah, like I need another one. Yeah. Joe, <laughs> I, Joe I, left a massive PA at but my it's, house, it, but still, that it was free. And um, I mean. God, that shines so good. Look at that song. If it works, oh, I know. Almighty. Godzilla Green. Well, that's a yep. That's a beautiful color. Beautiful color. Well, that's all. And I don't green. I do not have, man. That's, that's about, one of my. That's about I all have. I got. The, to, to, you got anything else you want to add? We don't want to make this video too awful. Oh no, we're fixing to work on another video. We're fixing yeah. to go in there and fuck with guitars. <laughs> and what we're gonna do. We we got still got a long night to go. But anyway, so thank y'all for watching. Check out The German Butcher on YouTube. You can look at the description under this video and you'll see a link to his channel. Uh, subscribe. Check out his stuff. Man, he's a great, great musician. All Fantastic day. A lot of fun. Thank you all for watching. See you next time.